March is one of the key months of the gardening year where you really do need to get things on the go because everything you do in March will massively influence the displays and of course if, you, if you're thinking about grow your own, the crops you get through the summer and of course well into the autumn. So starting with your patio. Now if you want great patio displays this is the time to get your plants actually growing perhaps in three inch pots, almost certainly indoors on a windowsill. If you're lucky enough to have a greenhouse, that would be perfect. But a conservatory somewhere on the floor, or as I say, a windowsill would be ideal as well. So get your fuchsias, your petunias, all of your summer flowering patio plants, get them potted up into three inch pots growing on. And of course, a month in that sense is gonna give you a massive head start when you actually then plant them into your hanging baskets and your patio pots, which means you get bigger, better displays sooner. When you think about your beds and borders, this is the time when everything's waking up. So this is the time to clear away all of the, the branches and the leaves and the foliage that may have uh, died back from last year. So give everything a good trim up, tidy it. Of course, put all of the, the waste materials on your compost heap and that will convert down into great uh, compost that you can dig in in future seasons. And do make sure around the base of all of your perennial plants, your trees and your shrubs that you've tidied and pruned, that you actually do dress them with some suitable fertilizers. So our rose and shrub fertilizers, perfect for that, as is bloodfish and bone, and it will really invigorate and rejuvenate your perennial beds and borders. Now, in the grow your own garden, there's lots to do as well. So the earliest sowings of salad crops, beetroot, carrots, spring onions, you can start getting on with that in March. And of course, the other thing to think about is if you do love your soft fruits, it's a perfect time to get your strawberries planted. So by planting in March, you're likely to be picking your first fruits in June and July this year. Long cane raspberries are perfect when planted at this time of year as well, whether it's in pots or in a row in your, in your grow your own area, they again will fruit this summer, round about July, August onwards. Think about your ponds, think about all of the sort of other areas, gutters and so on, and think about clearing. So if you've got leaves from the autumn that you haven't yet cleared from your gutters, get those done now, put those leaves on the compost heap. And if you have got any material, any foreign objects sort of floating in your ponds, just get them scooped up with a net. And again, just discard them because your fish really do need to have the clear water. And of course, as we get closer to summer and the temperatures rise, the fewer pieces of leaves and debris that are in the water, the less likely that you'll end up with a, a green algae bloom that we really like to avoid for our ponds. But all in all, March is the month to really get things going. It's an exciting time in the garden. It's when everything really bursts into, into uh, growth and even some flowers in the case of magnolia. So get out there on a couple of nice days, have a good old tidy up and get things planted and look forward to your summer garden, which is only literally now a couple of months away.